Welcome everyone. I just want to introduce you to Larissa Stowe that she's going to be at Women Arising November 16th through the 18th and it's going to be here in Sedona, Arizona. I'm Zephy and I am the producer and co-founder of Women Arising. We actually started taking Women Arising to the next level instead of us just having speakers. We're doing deep workshops. So you spend your time with each person that is going to be doing be doing the workshops longer, like a two hour deep work. But at, at this time, though, I want to introduce you to Larissa. Larissa, welcome. Thank you for coming and doing the concert one more time for us. This is your second time with us and also doing a workshop. But I just want to ask you why you keep coming to Sedona and why you keep coming to Women Arising. <laughs> Well, I love Sedona. Like Sedona is such an incredibly powerful vortex of energy to do healing work, and it never ceases to amaze me. Like, like the depth of what happens in Sedona. So it's like the best place ever to hold. I think to hold a conference retreat, you know, um, festival. It's amazing, and um, Women Arising is just like such a beautiful powerful experience just to see these women coming together to empower to uplift to stand in their truth together it's yeah i could go on and on about this but this is the time like this is the time for um, humanity to really usher in the divine feminine and women are a really important part of that because even though we we all have the divine masculine and the divine feminine within us women we naturally have that nurturing um, instinct that caring and we have access to shakti very easily within us and we happen to be the ones that when it's activated within us where we have the ability to really share that powerfully with other women and with men you know we're incredible activators so bringing us together like this Sefi, is is so important it's so necessary right now i think it's absolutely important what you're doing i, I agree with you and uh, down the line we're going to end up having men but right now we're just focusing on the women because of the shakti that you're talking about it's very powerful for us to wake up that energy and ignite our inner feminine this is what our theme is this year as you know yeah. so it's like we have to ignite it but it, we have to ignite it in balance as you said with the male and female instead of going, you know, not having any or having a lot. Yes. Come into the balance. And that's where you come in because I love um, not just the music that you bring in. And of course you have a new CD and we're going to have a great CD release party on Friday yes. night at 7.30. That's when Larissa will be uh, playing with us. But also I, when you do the workshop, I, I watched women actually really, you know, how do I say? flourish and bloom and just really having that power within themselves you know and that's what is so important for you to bring that to us and for me to have you again because you know from friday night going to this crazy dancing life alive of women and men of course because it's open to male and female on friday night to really come into this the next day to this blossoming, loving, loving. That's the word. That's the right word that I'm looking yes. for. Yes. So can loving. you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. I mean, I, you hit right on it. It's the most important piece of, of activating our Shakti is grounding that in compassion and self-love. Um, a lot of times people miss that. Uh, they want to be activated with their Kundalini. But when love and compassion, that self-love, isn't present, it can come out sideways. And we need that more than anything right now. We need women to connect with how beautiful, how powerful they are from, from the place of um, so much compassion and acceptance for the self. And when we start to really accept who we are, like all aspects of who we are, and not disown them, with that kind of love and that non-judgment of self, it gives like a really fertile ground for that Shakti to activate. And Shakti is really like the revolution of consciousness. It's absolutely the revolution of consciousness, but it starts with the, the energy 
of Shakti, which, I mean, this is, I could go off. <laughs> I could go off on this for a while. I'm noticing myself starting to go down that, into that rabbit hole, but I'm very, very passionate um, about sharing this activation, you know, with women um, because we, like I said, we are the ones that can really ignite one another and the planet, the masculine as well. Absolutely. And, you know, igniting the fire that many years of probably could be thousands of years that have told us to tone down our fire, to tone down who we are. So this is what Women Arising is. As I said in a previous interview, uh, it was, it's not about just rising only, it's about grounding also and going yes. through. So that combination of both, the male and female, the balance within us, and yeah. the Shakti that is our life force energy, that we're, that's what we're going to be doing. So, and I love the, you know, your group is called Larissa Stowe and Shakti Tribe. So how fun that is. <laughs> yeah, that's the mission. Yes. The mission is, that, is that activation because we have that within ourselves. We don't need to look so much on the outside once that starts to activate. It's like all the teachings, all the wisdom, it's on the inside of us. We are the Holy Grail, you know, the Divine Feminine is truly the Holy Grail. And again, like the Divine Feminine is that Shakti, it is that energy um, that is within us as women and within men. It's just that we as women have an easier time overall activating that. And that's why I feel like it really truly is our responsibility to work with this energy and then to pass it on to others because it is it is that, that peace that's going to set us free. It does set us free. Absolutely. And so we you, need that. Yeah, we do. We absolutely do need that because without that, uh, I don't think the, the world can survive. You know, the, yeah. we need to we'll finally wake up and allow that to bloom through us. So the other question I have is, what is the new CD all about? Can you tell me a little bit about that? I love <laughs> this CD. I am just so happy. I didn't even realize until, you know, we, we dug into it and put all of this music together. Like what an offering, what an incredible offering it is. There's so much love. Um, this CD in particular, like when people ask me, well, what's different about this CD than other CDs? I feel like this CD has so much of a, a heart opening transmission. It's really just, it's like this, ah, like an ah, uh, feeling associated with it. It's very passionate and it, it activates that, that heart and that passion, which is very much what, again, <laughs> the shop <laughs> is all about, <laughs> you know, giving us permission to, to, to feel everything that we feel to heal ourselves in this world. And that's really what it comes down to. It's like when we give ourselves permission to truly feel, and that's what the divine feminine is, is really rooted in, is these feelings and allowing the feelings to heal, not to suppress, but to embrace them and learn from them. There's and deep you also listen to them. Yes, to listen. Because in the past, we've been taught, to shove it all down and those feelings when we allow them to come up and we we don't push them away it it's definitely connected to activating the kundalini and activating that incredible divine wisdom that we have access to within ourselves i yeah. agree i i just agree i i love to have you every time you come it's just so so expensive for me when you know we start with the playing of the music the night before and then we go into the workshop with you it's just the activations just continue it continue happening you know it just goes through the night after we leave the music after we leave the dancing after we leave that and then we'll come in with you the next day is just really really powerful so I'm so happy and honored to have you again at Women Arise. Oh, I'm so, so happy and honored to be a part of it. I love it. I love what Women Rising stands for and what it's doing for the planet. You know, bringing women together like that is, it's just, like I said, it's so powerful and it's so necessary right Thank now you. for all of us to really get that when we come together in a collective like that, like it's beyond what you can even imagine, like what the mind can even imagine, the, What's seeding from this collective experience is it's like such a gift. Exactly. It's a gift for the planet. It's a gift for ourselves that we give ourselves. 
and a gift for the planet. And doing and also, this in Sedona? Huh? Hello. And I said, and doing this in Sedona? Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, it's like the togetherness. That's very important, like you said, is being together and allowing that for us to, to how you say, uh, hold each other that moment, but also hold each other afterwards and spread that into the world as we've been activated through the whole weekend of Women Arising. So I just want to thank you again. I love you. I'm so happy to have you again. So I will see everybody and we all see Larissa on Friday, November 16th at the Creative Life Center. And the next day she's going to be with us in the morning. She's the first workshop. So we'll start our day with that Shakti activation and the heart activation at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I will see you all on November 16th. Uh, 2018. So take care, everyone. Thank you again, Larissa. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Zephy. Love you. Love you too.